Hey, good day everybody, it's Richard here. I just want to talk to you about this new purchase I just got uh, recently from Amazon. It's called the VPeak OBD Check BLE. So it's a Bluetooth enabled uh, OBD scan tool for your vehicle. Just plugs into your OBD port. Uh, comes in this attractive little case here with the instruction manuals. It's pretty simple to set up. And I'm gonna just walk you through and show you some of the features that it can do. I think uh, you guys would really enjoy having one of these. Totally inexpensive and I think it's just really cool to have. So I've already gone ahead and plugged it into my OBD port. You can see the little blue light is activated. Hopefully you can see that with this uh, light coming in through the window. But once the blue light is on, then you know the unit is powered up and active. I do recommend that when the car is not running, uh, unplug the device because it does continually draw power. Now it's not a lot, but I wouldn't want to see anybody come out to a flat battery or anything to that effect. So probably best just to remove it when not in use, but it just plugs in. OBD ports are normally located underneath the driver side or passenger side console. Again, mine was underneath a flap here. I've removed the door just to show you where it goes. Uh, again, just plug it in, uh, watch the blue light come on, and you're ready to rock and roll. The second thing you're going to need is some sort of app to interface it to the scan check tool. So I've uh, downloaded a program called OBD Fusion. Uh, it was about six dollars and fifty cents for Amazon. Uh, sorry, for Google. I mean, sorry for Android. I'll get this right. Um, it is also available for Apple iOS. I think it's a little bit more expensive, but it does work on both platforms. So once you have the app installed on your phone, you're going to just see a little connect button. You'll see up at the top that I'm not connected at the moment. So I simply enable Bluetooth and just hit the connect button. Did I hit that correct? Maybe not. Here we go. It'll show it's connecting. And it's reading the vehicle information and there you go. You're up and connected. Now you got a lot of things you can do here, so it's really cool. So you can change your settings, you got a diagnostic, so if you do have a code on your car, you'll be able to read it and even clear it. You got a nice dashboard that you can customize, you can even integrate to maps. There's other little monitors, there's driving logs you can do, and then there's even a performance section where you can check like your 0 to 60 times and 0 to 100 kilometer times and things of that effect, so it's really cool. So I'm just going to open up a dashboard here and show you. So a couple of things I got set up, and I, again, I haven't played with all of the features that are available on here, but there's some really cool stuff. You can monitor your horsepower, your intake air and temperature. You can have a look at engine torque, see how much that's producing. You can flip back this way. For me, this is a fun one because my car is turbocharged and I don't have a built-in boost gauge from the factory. It's nice to see what kind of boost I'm running. So I'm car's running, so I'm gonna just rev it up a little bit. And you can see the movement is pretty good. It's pretty live. You've also got some velocimeters, I think that's how you call it, and things to that effect. So it's really cool. But there's lots of things you can do. Again, going to the performance side, let me just go back one page here. Sorry, I'm moving my camera around here because I'm trying to handhold it. You can go into performance, it gives you a little warning. Again, you can look at your zero to 60 times. You can uh, log all that data, and everything else like that. So it's really cool. You can check your RPM gauges down in the bottom there as well on the outside. So it's really, really, really neat app to have. Another one of the features I like is the trip log. And yes, there is an onboard trip computer on the car, but this one is uh, kind of neat as well because you can do multiple three, four, five, up to six trip logs if you want. Shows you the distance you've traveled, your average fuel economy, and things of that effect. So that's pretty neat. Also included in the map are a bunch of monitors so you can see if you've got any problems with the car and uh, any emission problems or anything to that effect. So if you are part of a program where you have to have emissions tests on your car, this will tell you if it's ready to pass the test or not. Again, it'll read trouble codes. If you have any, uh, they'll show up here and you'll be able to know what they are and uh, even reset them if you feel comfortable to do so. If not, probably an added benefit because if you take your car into the garage and they say it's one thing, you can say, well, my car is not telling me that. And just kind of have a better sense of uh, holding the garage honest, if you will, and uh, know what exactly is going on before you even so take it in. here's a snapshot of the Amazon screen. So again, it's the VPeak OBD Check BLE OBD2 Bluetooth Scanner. I paid $39.99 for it Canadian uh, and had it shipped within a couple of days. Uh, it's a really good unit, gets uh, good reviews. Everybody seems to enjoy it. I've had no issues with it. Uh, so far, it's only been a week that I've had it, but I am enjoying it immensely. I love having that extra data. I love having that boost gauge that I showed you prior and just having access to other information that you wouldn't normally know what's going on in your car. Bit of a geek that way, so I like that kind of stuff and I like to know what's going on. Uh, so yeah, definitely a recommended purchase if anybody's interested.